Understanding, it's my pleasure. A guide for English learners. Hello everyone, welcome to our latest video. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase, it's my pleasure. This phrase is widely used in various contexts, and understanding its nuances can really boost your conversational skills in English. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some similar expressions you can try out. It's my pleasure is a polite and gracious way of responding when someone thanks you. It implies that you are happy to help and that you found joy or satisfaction in doing what you did. This phrase is often used in formal or semi-formal settings. It's a way to acknowledge someone's gratitude while also expressing that you were glad to assist. You can use, it's my pleasure, in various situations. 1. In customer service, when a customer thanks you for your help. 2. In personal interactions, when a friend or family member thanks you for a favor. 3. In professional settings, when a colleague or client expresses gratitude for your assistance. It's important to note that this phrase carries a tone of humility and graciousness. There are several other ways to express the same sentiment. 1. You're welcome, the most common and casual response to thanks. 2. Happy to help, implies that you found joy in assisting. 3. Glad I could assist, a slightly more formal way to show you're pleased to have been of help. Each of these variations can be used based on the context and your relationship with the person you're speaking to. In different cultures, the way gratitude is expressed and responded to can vary. In English-speaking cultures, it's my pleasure, is seen as polite and respectful. It's a good practice to be aware of these cultural nuances, especially in international or multicultural settings. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, it's my pleasure, and its uses in English. Remember, language is not just about words but also about the emotions and relationships they convey. Keep practicing, and don't forget to use this phrase in your daily conversations to sound more like a native speaker. See you in the next video.